In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the First Class mobile application for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. This is a universal application that supports both the iPhone and iPad form factors. In this video, I'm going to show you how the application looks on the iPhone or iPod Touch. Here we're looking at the application in portrait mode, but it functions equally as well in landscape mode. I'm going to log in as the character Joe Schmo, and we can see his first class desktop as he logs in. Notice he has access to all of his first class content, and this includes such things as his calendar, contacts, file storage, conferences, and mailbox, as well as his social workplace communities, people, flagged items, and invitations. Let's explore some of these a little further. Here we are back on his first class side of things. We can see the first class mobile calendar gives me access to all of my events. The contacts folder gives me access to my contacts and clicking on one of my contacts will display the phone number, notes, and email address. If I click on the email address, it initiates a new email. Similarly, if I were to click on the phone number, it would initiate a new phone call on the iPhone. If I go into my file storage area, you can see that I have a number of images and office documents. All of these can be opened within the First Class Mobile application using the viewers that are built into the iPhone and iPod Touch. Let's go into my mailbox now. I can see a list of all of my messages. And if I click on one of these messages, it opens into our viewer. If it's an HTML message, as this one is, you can see that we can view it in full fidelity. With a message open, I can check the history of that message. I can file it in one of my subfolders. I can view any attachments and open them, or I can delete the message by clicking on the delete trash can. I could also choose to reply, reply with quote, reply all, reply sender, and forward. Back in the list view, I can choose to delete any message simply by swiping the message and clicking on the delete button. Also within the list view, we have the ability to view any subfolders that we have within our mailbox. And we can filter items by clicking on the filter icon and typing in filter criteria. And this filters our mailbox based on that criteria. If I click on the icon on the top right, I have the ability to create a new message document, upload a photo, or upload a new picture. Clicking on the new message brings up the message envelope and this supports the full first class directory. So for example if I type in Rosie and click on done, it finds the two Rosies on our system and I can select. Notice as well that there's a default signature that's added to all messages created by your iPhone. This can be configured at the login screen. The edit button at the bottom allows me to mark records. And by marking records, I have a number of different options. I can click on the red, unread button to toggle the status of these particular items. I can also toggle multiple items and choose to move them into one of my subfolders. Back on the home screen, notice that all of my containers have numbers of unread items being displayed. If there are more than 999 items, the red ball indicates just that number, whereas if you have fewer than 999 unread items, only that number will be displayed. If we go into this conference, we can start by reading a particular message, 
and then use the Next Unread button to step through the unread messages within that conference. For those systems that are taking advantage of the social workplace features of First Class, we can go into our communities, open our communities, and we see the feed of all contributions to that community. I can go to the Documents tab and view the documents within the Documents tab, or I can go to the Wikis tab, view a wiki, and edit it if I have the correct permissions. Similarly, the next unread in a community is the next unread button that will step me through and view the different contributions to that community. I can flag items and I can tag items. I can also view the members of the community and the setup. I can view the people that I am following and I can view their blogs and their profile. Similarly for myself, I can open my profile to view my blog, view my profile details, update my status, and update my profile picture. And finally, if somebody invites you to an instant message session, you're able to accept that in the iPhone client, and we're able to contribute and enter into a two-way conversation with that individual. All in all, the mobile client is truly first class.